I'm play some Spire, I guess. I'm glad you're enjoying the charity stream on Stable. Hey, Griggs. I want the Spire idea. User can click on the cards to vote so they help you play. User can click the cards to vote so they help you play. Help is an interesting word to use in that sentence. Hey, Hagger Jam. Hey, Banu. I ever play Into the Breach? Yeah, I got like 20 or 30 hours out of it. It was okay. It's actually the best squad-based tactics game I have played since playing it. Like, I uh, haven't played one that was better than it since. In terms of new ones, at least. Hey, boo! Venerable, hello. Hey, Karad Benar. I've seen me not taking Rainbow in many uploaded defect runs. Rainbow is just a card that does what Rainbow does. <laughs> it's, it's hard to... If you need a Dark Orb for like the boss fight at the end of Act 2 or something, it gives you a Dark Orb, it gives you a little bit of block, it gives you a little bit of damage doesn't like it's not defragment or echo form and it's a card that is in the way of you getting defragment or echo form it's not electrodynamics it doesn't really like kill reptomancer or slavers hey jester kid uh, the forgot thanks for the 17 months i'm going to show to you as well hey see ya What did I tell the seniors about streaming? I just like sort of explained what it was for 30 minutes or so. I had questions about like, can you make money doing this? Is it healthy to sit in a chair talking to Twitch chat all day? Stuff like that. The plan was to fight a super elite really soon, but then I got like an Omamori, and then I got no cards for the first two fights. And yeah, now I'm like looking at a poison stab, I guess. Cool. <laughs> uh, I sort of got to buy the poison stab after taking Bane, I think. Take a quick slash two. We're somewhat close to being dead already. <laughs> just, just one of those things. Do I ever wonder if chat is just one person typing very fast? Uh, I don't think many people type very fast. Mostly it's like other messages. Kind of... Um, How do you become a news anchor for the Jorbs News Network? Oh my gosh. We could have volunteer reporters. I'm not paying you. Does anybody pay reporters? Oh right, like the network sponsors do. <laughs> uh, uh, oh dear. Um, <clears throat> Big turtling herd. I like how Twitch chat doesn't realize that the streamer is just them in a different voice. Don't believe me? Watch the streamer say this on his other voices. Can you become a sponsor and pay yourself? You can do whatever you want.
sort of an interesting one, because Bullet Time is now a curse in our deck for the second time through. Is Silent my favorite character? I don't have a favorite character. I like them all. I would go absolutely insane if there were not multiple different characters in this game. Arguably have gone absolutely insane anyway, but it would definitely be more pronounced if there wasn't a variety of characters to choose from in this game. How's my day so far? It's been okay. Had a social morning. A couple of calls with different people. Silent is your favorite character. There you go. Silent is Justin Blot's favorite character. Further questions about Silent can be directed at Justin. My beard looks good. Do I do it myself? Yeah, I've been growing this since I was a young child. It looked really weird when I was like six. But, uh,. I feel like it's a bit more normal looking now. You were born with a beard and you will die with a beard. Exactly. Interesting. It turns out that having six thorns is pretty strong at this point in the run. It might just be pretty strong at all points in the run. Maybe. I don't really see why it wouldn't be. Do I style it myself? I literally just sit here growing it, and then uh, when I have to, I trim it by taking an electric razor and going... And that's that's basically my process, I guess. I have a pro process in the same way that a, a great artist might be said to have a process. That was an impressively fast shave. Yeah, that, that was real time. That was an action replay. That was actually slowed down, believe it or not. Is it weird you've never seen an infinite with unceasing top, even though it feels like it should be more likely to happen than not? Well, the thing is that there are a bunch of fights in the game that put statuses in your deck, so you can't really deliberately build toward that because you fight against something that puts two burns in your deck on turn one, it's like, oh, well, fuck. <laughs> you know? Hey, Sin... Chin... 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 Oh, well, I, I... Something like that. How you doing? Check the black. Hello. Can I do beard trimming over explained? I very strongly am of the opinion that uh, there's a difference between having a beard and not shaving, and I fall like significantly more on the not shaving side of that equation. I think we go footwork and fight another elite. Okay, that's good. This one's much better for us than Gremlin Knob. beard because your current trimmer splits all the ends and makes you very sad. Splits the ends. That's something I've heard about in like the movies, but I don't really like conceptually understand what it is. Is it like you have a hair and then it splits into two or something? I really 
I'm not sure I get this. What am I planning Grifflands next? I don't have a... I mean, you can check the schedule on the Discord. But, uh... It doesn't say when I'm playing Grifflands next because it hasn't been scheduled. It makes your beard like Velcro. Oh. Okay. That didn't actually make me understand <laughs> what it did in any way. <laughs> but alright, sure. Very good. The hair kind of forks out. Fork out, man. It's when your hair gets frayed at the end, it makes it look worse. I think I've probably just never had long enough hair in my life to understand what this is. Or maybe it's happened to me and I just haven't cared enough. That's, yeah, I guess actually <laughs> that might be even more likely. I ever played Team Fight Tactics? I was a Team Fight Tactics challenger in season one. like rain on your wedding day. Some people like rain, you know. I like rain. I at least don't dislike rain very much. Buttons of Runeterra full released, you should give it a go. It doesn't make sense to me what you just said, Lord Bob. <laughs> I was gonna make a humorous comparison, but... The one that sprang to mind was very inappropriate. Um, it's like if if you were like, something bad is happening, you should go enjoy taking part in it. That's basically what your <laughs> what your sentence was like to me. I was not very impressed by Legends of Runeterra when I played it. Rain makes very relaxing sounds. It certainly does. It certainly does. Has my opinion of precipitation changed ever since I moved to the Pacific Northwest? I think Seattle has very boring rain. We get mostly, like, misty, drizzly, boring rain. And sometimes, like, heavier rain. But we don't get many thunderstorms. We don't, like, I don't know. It's just not that exciting. Rain doesn't pair with wind in clever ways very often. We don't get like sun showers very often. I think sun showers are my favorite type of rain. Just doesn't happen very much here. The Amos Trusk. When Artifact releases again, will I give it a go? Um, hmm. Oh, actually I wanted that potion. Shit. Well, I have a regal pillow, so that's some sustain. So maybe we could take coffee dripper, Kappa. Guess I'll take ectoplasm, whatever. Wind plus rain, underrated synergy. I agree, 100%. Hardened Nipples asks, Hey Jorbs, do you have a favorite coffee shop in the Seattle area? I'm actually not a coffee drinker. So no, I really don't. Thank you for the question though, Hardened Nipples. Um... Should have said Starbucks. Uh, I mean, Starbucks is like exactly as offensive to me as all the other coffee places, I don't know. Often, if you are a Seattleite, 
If you're gonna meet up with someone, they will recommend meeting up at a Starbucks. And I have consequently, as a Seattleite who doesn't drink coffee, had quite a lot of like smoothies and hot chocolates at Starbucks. And they have been mostly inoffensive. Wind plus rain can get just as overdone as rain without wind, I assure you. Yeah, I feel like it's about the variety. You want to have some variety in your weather. Only thorns. Only thorns. Hey, Iron Chef USA. Shippy, hello. You work at a Starbucks and a third of your co-workers don't like coffee. I feel like that's, like, higher than average. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong about how many people dislike coffee. Like, if you told me that the same number of people dislike coffee amongst Starbucks workers as amongst the general population, I'd be like, okay, sure, that's sort of interesting when it makes sense. But I feel like that's, like, more than the general population. I wonder if it's the working at Starbucks that makes them not like coffee. It is also anecdotal, that's true. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> it's here again. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't escape. Tangible, watch enemies hit themselves to death. That sounds about right. I think we need probably a lot more intangible to be able to do that though. Oh shit. <sighs> like every other time that spinning top has procced in the entire run, I've remembered that I have it. I'm pretty sure that was the first time. <laughs> it was the only time that it's mattered. This is very upsetting to me. No game ever lets you play as a pirate mancer. D and D. You can do anything in D and D. You rewatched Die Hard last night. I'm definitely from a Die Hard as a Christmas movie family. Escape plan, infinite blades, blade. I'll take an escape plan. We got a couple of footworks. We take a well laid plan, doesn't seem unreasonable. We could take a predator to help with this elite fight as well. Probably gremlin leader is the hardest elite fight for us here. Sort of weird. I think that Slavers deals us a ton of damage, but we do win. I think that um, Book of Stabbing, like we have 11 thorns, lol. Um, <laughs> Gremlin Leader, if Gremlin Leader buffs a lot instead of attacking us, can actually maybe kill us. Let's 
Have I ever thought about designing a game? Making mod characters for Slay the Spire? I've made games in my life. I've never published a game. I made like a competitive 4x game that you could play with a deck of playing cards that I thought was really cool. And I played it a bit. The problem was like it took a long time to teach people the rules. Nice, footwork has arrived. Oh shit, I'm dumb. Wait, did I just discard the wrong one? <laughs> okay, well, you know, things are happening. Good work, Tomek. Should share this masterpiece with the world. Yeah, I don't remember the rules either. Like, <laughs> they were pretty complicated. The idea was you used. So you made a game board out of 16 playing cards. And I. I think you took the aces out. So the aces were taken out. You made a game board out of 16 playing cards, just at random. And the different playing cards meant different things. And then you drew hands and played cards onto that board. And um, the board sort of represented an island and controlling territory around mountains gave you victory points and controlling fields in a row gave you victory points and different suits were different types of terrain and stuff like that. And then, like, after a couple of turns, you flipped over one of the aces, and depending on which ace it was, that, like, changed the victory conditions a little bit. So halfway through, you got a spanner in the works or whatever. I think it was actually, like, a 5x5, five five, not a 4x4 four four board. Anyway, it was, like, a goofy thing that I did once. Sounds like it would be confusing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I agree. It was something that was like sort of passable to play if you were somebody who had spent a long time understanding how it worked. So I played it with my girlfriend at the time when we were like on a ferry going somewhere for like two days or something, I don't remember. But it wasn't really like a game I was gonna play at parties. If you put enough work into goofy things, eventually you end up streaming Slay the Spire to 1,000 people. Yep, that's how, uh, that's how it works for everybody. Brian Wentworth 2, I think. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Long boom we show to you as well. Hey, Draco and Diabolus. It's going okay. Hey, Junt. I spent two days on a ferry. We were like going around the Greek Isles and stuff. I don't think any of our ferries were two days. I think we were looking at taking a ferry from the east coast of Italy to somewhere and that one was going to be like the better part of two days and then we decided just to fly instead a while ago. Good trip though, do you recommend the Greek Isles? Huh. 
who is this guy and where is my picture? I don't know if you're like talking about me. Um, I don't generally put my viewers' pictures on the stream though. Your picture might be on your screen maybe? If you've got a webcam maybe point it at yourself. Did mini jorbs have a good time on the ferry? Okay. Now this sounds like a sex thing. Uh... Is there a newsletter for today? You can find a lot of information that may be pertinent to you, uh, your life if my life is pertinent to your life at uh, the Jorbs News Network on Twitter, at JNN. I shouldn't have killed one, by the way. I should have let Gremlin Leader attack me while I was intangible. I should also drink the Strength Potion, probably. Have I considered cosplaying as Rainbow Plays? Well, I mean, I did when I recorded the emote. You want me to, like, do it again? Is that the idea? I feel like I already did it once. Akabeko gave 8 damage for the first attack each turn. Would it be too powerful? Arguably already powerful enough, Akabeko. When I think about the most influential relics in Slay the Spire today, which I do often, Akabeko is definitely a relic in Slay the Spire. Akabeko had to be nerfed because it was too good for speedrunning. Yeah, I mean, it does the thing that it does quite well. If you're a person in the market for that thing. Rage Jonas. Thanks for the five months. Hogbomo showed you around. What? Hogbomo showed you as well. Sneko Skull, Ghost in a Jar. Those rewards were so good until we looked at the cards. Backflip's okay. Ghost in a Jar we can't lose. Is Jessica in chat? Sure we can. It sounds good to me. Wonder if we just die in this fight. Our deck is very bad at this fight. I wonder if it's better to play escape plan earlier. The thing is, there are more dazes in the deck, so it's more likely that I'll miss the longer I wait to play it. But also there's a footwork in the deck, so I can make a block for more if I wait. There are pros and cons of each option. a little bit gross feeling today, but I think it's just like a general malaise. <laughs> no. 
Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I'll be all right. How's it going, guitar? Take deadly poison here, actually. Not the most impressive card. But, um... I think somewhat necessary. card to retain. Hey, Legiticus Maximus. Does anyone have George's thoughts on the Forgotten Altar event? What are you looking for exactly when you ask that question? What should my thoughts be like? Would they be like presented in a package or something like? Have I said anything about it in the past? Like how good it is? Whether I like that it's in the game? Is it possible to get stonewalled by the champ using metallicized too many times in a row? Um, the champ can only go to 14 and metallicize. I think there was a point where the champ didn't have that cap on metallicize, though. I believe there was a point where it was possible for that to happen. Would the silent need a buff if they made it tangible, not dumb? Um, I don't know. So, like, sort of a weighted question. Why does anything need a buff or not need a buff? Hell of a time to become a doctor. Uh oh. certainly is. Honestly, like, I probably don't play Wraith form this turn. I just play it? I don't know. Definitely good to have Golden Idol in the event that tries to give you a decay, yeah. Interesting to hear from people who are like, yeah, there hasn't been a new coronavirus case for 11 days. Um, 
things like that as I sit here in my apartment. Yeah, here in the US, we believe that there hasn't been a coronavirus case in the last 11 days based on our public policy decisions, but uh, <laughs> not sure that's actually what's been going on outside. Alchemize. Die, 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 unload. Could probably just not take any of these. Take a runic pyramid with wraith form and stuff. Seems good. Hey, Blur, how are you today? You're doing your best to avoid the news. I had, <laughs> I had like a mini meltdown reading someone on Twitter who was like uh, an anchor of a TV news show who was talking about how he like didn't know how to report about the coronavirus in the US because like he didn't want to just like upset people by saying what was going on and it was so upsetting. I just like, like I couldn't, I couldn't like, <laughs> you're, you're a news anchor. <laughs> just, just fucking, just fucking say what the news is. <laughs> anyway, I could I just couldn't. How's it going, everybody? Hey, Pablo Squared, hey, Loveless. The darkest things were gifting that's up to blur. Longbow more show to you both. A Therania. A Coiling Oracle. Rorschach UK, hello. A Picto. In the fun boy. Yeah, it seems like uh, journalism is a place where people like share their opinions a lot now. Which is weird, because that's not... I don't... I don't... <laughs> it's unclear to me how that would... ...be useful in any way. I don't know. I guess I'm a person who sits here... ...sharing my opinion. Maybe they all want to be streamers. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe they're like, oh yeah, look at that streamer money. Gotta do some opinion sharing. I don't claim to be a journalist, that's true. But like, the industry... <laughs> the industry... I can't... <laughs> I... Tangent. I can't like do the, the industry thing because I lived in Studio City which is like the porn hub of the world sort of for a couple of years and so whenever somebody talks about the industry with me i think i think of pornography it's made for some very like weird moments and calls with sponsors and stuff like yeah so <laughs> How do you enjoy? How do you enjoy working in the industry? <laughs> Excuse me. All the gaming industry. Oh, um. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? The industry does say that I am an influencer. That's what I'm told that I am. And sometimes it feels like journalists want to be influencers. I'm pretty sure I don't personally want to be an influencer, but maybe, maybe like other people have decided for me that I am one. Do you feel influenced when you watch my channel, Twitch chat? 
Do you feel... Do you feel that I have influenced you? It sounds like what they would say right before they set a witch on fire. Oh, check thanks for the two months. I'm going to show to you as well. She's been influencing us. Burn her. Uh... <laughs> Jorbs is influencing our children. Possible. Jorbs is a witch. Also possible. Hey Nick, how you doing? You spend a huge amount of your time consuming my content or talking to other people who spend lots of time watching my content. So you wouldn't be surprised if you were influenced by me. All right. So if it is accepted that I am influencing you all, what would you like me to influence you to do? Like, do you have like, I don't know, chores or something that maybe you could use a like gentle push toward? How should I use this power? Chores, fitness, exercise more often. Seems like a seems like a common one here. Searching for a new job. Influence you to be a better person. No, ship sailed. The <laughs> free therapist. <laughs> I have a therapist. I like my therapist a lot. We have cool conversations and he's very helpful. Um and he is like, like I'm fascinated by what he does, and he is fascinated by what I do. <laughs> Cause you're like sort of right, like streamers do get used, like free therapists, like a non-zero amount of the time. And so seeing all of the things that my therapist does in terms of like how to reframe what's going on in my head and stuff is like really interesting to me. Like, oh, I could use that one of you or reaches out. And uh, and then my therapist is actually really interesting because he has a ton of clients who are like, yeah, I got a lot of emotional support by watching a streamer on Twitch. And so my therapist is like, wait, you are a streamer on Twitch? <laughs> I, I keep hearing about this thing. Um, he asked if it would be okay if he tuned into my channel. I'm not sure if he has yet, but yeah. I don't think the news... Should I add that to the newsletter that I have my webcam on today? Do you think that would be, like, big news for a lot of people? Try getting in things of the 15 months. I'll go Moshu to you as well. Has he gotten used to me having a professional cam set up? I think he, I think he appreciates it. Why is my webcam on? I had a Zoom call with friends this morning, and so I decided I should like, like shower, shave, and put clothes on, which is something that I hadn't done for like three days. Like the end of the challenge was a lot. Uh, <laughs> It was an emotionally exhausting challenge in general, and then also, like, ending it, like, I just, like, didn't have anything in my life anymore. <laughs> so, you know, it, it was good to take a couple of days and just, like, become disheveled. It was fine. But, but now I have actually, like, put clothes on and I can put the webcam on again for you. I bet a ton of people are using Animal Crossing for emotional support right now. 
I bet that is a very common thing at the moment. Self-care needs to be balanced with some self-uncare. Is that what I just said? Sure, yeah, maybe. Maybe you're right. Maybe that's the point. Hmm, I might have to take one damage here. Oh, I guess I can just draw Wraith Form. I can just draw Wraith Form. Is there another site where the stream was without clothes? Um, my OnlyFans has been slow to take off. I think maybe it's because I haven't posted anything on it. But it could be something else. Maybe it's just that you're not supporting me enough. Yeah. It's not my fault, it's Twitch chat that's wrong. Why don't I get Bane? You're sure I didn't get it from card rewards? Hmm. Why are you sure of that? What other things are you sure of that are wrong? Earned legend, hello! Creating papers right now, and I just need to keep being myself since it helps you to not get too stressed out about work. I'm glad. It is such a fascinating thing, streaming. It's so fascinating that there are like a bunch of people here chilling out like really just enjoying the conversation and like the games going on too and it's like a nice game to tune in and out of and then there are people who are here like because they're really into Slay the Spire and they heard that I was really good at Slay the Spire so they're mostly just here to like see me play Slay the Spire specifically and there's like a small subsection of the audience who are hoping my feet will be visible on stream. <laughs> not, not so small, all right. Two, three, four. Hmm. I could save Wraith Form and go like backflip, defend, deadly poison, bane, kill one of the daggers. I sort of want to use the deadly poison on Reptomancer though. Is there an escape plan here? No. You can go backflip, backflip, piercing whale, defend. There's an adrenaline. Let's start with backflip, see what we hit. If I do this, I'm not. Yeah, that's fine. Go. Oh, I'm short. Uh!
How many wounds are in here? Four so far. It's not that many. Take 10 with footwork, defend, defend. I just really want a deadly poison reptomancer. You know? Could play Wraith form. But I get to rest. I get to rest after this fight and I have a regal pillow. I tried to alchemize another Wraith form already, but it gave me like footwork or something. It was a very disappointing. Hey Ryan Hunter, how you doing? You realized you just bought Grifflands without even watching any of my Grifflands content. Seeing the name once was enough to pique your interest, and seeing that I had more than one broadcast with it felt like a strong enough vote of confidence to purchase it. I was paid for more than one broadcast. <laughs> I mean, I... <laughs> Fair enough. Wait, actually, I'm going to screenshot that and put it in the uh, case study so that it, uh, more influent more sponsors will pay me more. And I will love that. Um, <laughs> no, like, Grifflands, Grifflands is a good game, which I actually ended up playing for, like, more time than I had been paid for. Grifflands was like the perfect sort of sponsorship because it was a game that I was interested in playing that my audience was interested in watching me play and the devs wanted to pay me to do that like it was just a really good deal really good stuff for everybody involved and quite a lot of my viewers quite enjoyed that content Devs are smart enough that they paid me enough money to play several sessions. They must be good devs. Maybe. Or maybe... I mean, yeah, we'll just say yes. <laughs> Clay is very consistently a very solid gaming studio for sure. Okay, so do I have to ghost in a jar here? Is there like any hit? Sorry, someone's simulating the Ni Niagara Falls outside my window. I don't know why. Is Bane enough? It's weird. This one's not going to get to attack because Reptomancer will die to thorns, but I still have to use the Ghost in a Jar, unfortunately. I think they're, like, pressure washing something.
under pressure Working down on me Working down on you Boop 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 doo doo boop 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 doo doo boop doo 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 Is that Queen? There's no way. Queen already has every other good song ever made. They can't possibly have that one as well. That's Queen and David Bowie? Holy shit. Leave some good songs for the rest of us. Imagine, imagine being a musician and just being like, I want to compete directly with Queen and David Bowie. Uh, Queen and David Bowie existed, but I feel like I have something to contribute to this space. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Who are like the great gamers of, uh, of history? The, the competition who have come before me. Faker, Faker and Boxer, Slayer's Boxer. Those are big names. George Washington, sure. Starcraft, like, gamers weren't streamers, though. Starcraft was and still is a very different thing from streaming. Magnus Carlsen, that's true. Magnus is tough. Tough competition. In Control, Day 9, Tasteless. These are all big names. Most pro players stream their practice now. Really? Can you just like watch Flash's stream? I should do that if you can do that. Destiny hosted my channel one time, but never hosted again. Do you think it's because like, I was very insulting? I think the correct way to interpret that is to, like, be honored that it happened once. Rather than to, like, feel bad that it hasn't happened since. When I opened with, yo, Destiny hosted me, fuck that dude, it didn't set the stage well. I mean, yeah. But... I mean, that's my brand, right? Like... <laughs> did, I, did I stream my first Slay the Spire game? Uh, yeah, I did. My first game of Slay the Spire was on stream. I suspect the VOD is gone forever now, though. Took a lot of pommel strikes the first time I ever played a run of Slay the Spire. I did not win. Claw did not exist. There was only Ironclad and Silent. Destiny is streaming now. I should raid him. Shall we go on a Destiny raid at the end of this stream? How bad is the pressure washing, by the way? Like, I have my window shut, but it's really fucking loud. A <laughs> fart and salad. You can't hear it? Are you shitting me? <laughs> I like can't hear myself think. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm glad you can't hear it. 
That, that must be great for you. Hear it when I'm loud, I'm sorry. I'll just stop talking. for it to be off so I can say stuff. Washing my house. They're washing me specifically. I'm actually, my legs are, I mean, it's a pressure washer, so like all the hair is gone and everything. I am feeling very clean. Yeah, would you, <laughs> would you like me to show you my feet? Uh, <laughs> Damn. Is suggesting that I don't have feet to try to get me to show my feet basically negging? Is that basically negging my feet? I'm not like super up on the like exact nuances of of negging. sort of weird that Thorns doesn't interact with Transient in, like, any way. I guess it's just how it's coded, though. Just the order of the operations or whatever. There's a bit in a China Mevil novel. Sorry if I got that pronunciation wrong. Where they speak to the devil, and in the background is the faint sound of tormented souls screaming. This is exactly like that. That's... Hmm. So my claim that it was a pressure washer didn't work, is what you're saying. Well, it's too bad. Imuwaya! Hey, I got a uh, ghost snow jar back. Welcome back, ghost snow jar. chat has been very horny recently yeah and everyone's like no jorbs you just look great recently like come on you're you're stuck inside you haven't seen another human being for like two months it's okay like it's fine it's okay but don't don't pretend it's about me just just own it just own it it's okay like
Wow, Jorbs, you look great recently. Two month subscriber, cheer 100. Hmm. Oh, you were trying to copy paste, I see. I thought you were making like a tier 3 sub joke. Spaceman Spiff. <laughs> it's one of the most disturbing things I've ever heard. Thank you for that. Um... Thoughts on forehead? Forehead's gonna forehead, you know? I think forehead is one of my most used emotes. I think forehead is also one of Dolphin Chemist's most used emotes. I think it's just a good emote. It's just a good emote. Jorb's Kevin is superior. Jorb's Kevin is uh, a cheap imitation. NZ Haywire, thanks to 26 months. Agbomo show to you too. I think we probably want Incense Burner on 4 or 5. One of those two. Non-binary pride is your most used emo. It's a good one. It's good for expressing a sarcasm when giving bad lines, so it doesn't come across as backseating. It's also like Kappa comes across as like you're trying to be trolly, but forehead comes across as you're trying to be shit posty. And shit posting is a it's just a much more positive influence than trolling. We need a lot more shit posting in the world and a lot less trolling. That's my that's my honest opinion. So I definitely have three deadly poisons. Alright, cool. say we want incense burner on X instead of I want incense burner on X. We're in this together, chat. We're in this together. One of the tricky things about Slay the Spire is that if you lose a run of Slay the Spire, you die IRL. And like, I'm a streamer, I play this game regularly, right? So like, eventually I would lose a run and die. But I made a deal with the devs that just someone from my channel could die instead. And that way, you know, we can keep running the stream. So this really is, um, this really is like a group effort. I think it's fair to say. F for snudges. <laughs> I 
Guess I should have played that earlier. Whoops. So they just like keep attacking you, huh? That's how this works. And they just attack you for more. And more as time goes on. I'm not gonna lie, that seems sorta of bullshit. But I'll do what I can. Sorry to hear that, Gen Physis. I'm very sorry to hear that. I do not recommend backseating. Oh shit, I didn't have to play that defend. Wow, weak is strong. Twenty, thirty-three, forty-one, forty-nine, seventy-nine. I'm one short. Come on. Come on. I think it's fair to say that some mistakes have been made in this fight. have a malaise, but I do have a lot of thorns, and Time Eater doesn't actually do that well against thorns. And I've got a piercing whale for phase two of the fight. This should be pretty doable. I suspect this one's easier than a weakened one would have been. Hey Zarko, how you doing? Well, I have two piercing whales, don't I? Yeah, see? You know what I'm talking about sometimes. Maxi prize, he get no mental. I haven't seen mini jorbs since uh I don't know, some men in suits came around the apartment. And I let many jorbs know and yeah. Not sure what they wanted or anything, but I have not seen mini jorbs since.
So I guess we're resting next act, right? I think I sort of like these potions. So I don't think I'm playing Alchemize. The Tox Meow links with Twitch Prime. Long bow to you too. Rakuti thinks so four months. Long bow to you. Are the thumbnails for Griffin supposed to be spelled Giftland? You want to direct your uh, questions to YouTube Jorbs, who is not here right now. YouTube Jorbs is on the lamb. Well, having a very loud pressure washer right outside my window is doing great things for me not having a headache today. So I guess that's nice. Should apply the defend there. How does artifact potion compare to the average potion? Well, the average potion 
has what? 2.3 children? Whereas Artifact Potion doesn't have any kids. <laughs> the average potion is too strong for you, Traveler. <laughs> Is it really per person? Doesn't that mean there are five children per couple? Oh, no, it's per family or whatever. Probably. I mean, I don't know. I'm just making this shit up, obviously. It's impossible to actually know. Nine percent of the population have 4.20 children. Oh, sounds right. Do I think Unceasing Top should be changed? I think Unceasing Top has the worst. UI of anything in the entire game. And if you wanted to change it because of that, I would think that was somewhat reasonable. Should probably remember to play Piercing Whale before ending my turn. I think it's fine to play Slimed. I have 11 Thorns. Yup. Sure do. Okay. What would be my alternate top UI? Well, with something like this, it's possible that there just isn't actually a UI that supports what it does that you could put in the game. So that's one possibility, in which case just like get rid of it. Otherwise, I guess you'd want to like ask somebody who does UI design to do it. I don't I don't know why you'd ask me. just got here, how do we deal damage? Well, I just dealt... <laughs> hmm. That question aged very poorly, I think. <laughs> Did you ask that before I dealt 165 thorns of damage in one turn? Artifact pot there. Hey, Aristocratica. What did the artifact pot do? Do you mean what did the ghost in a jar do? I used the artifact pot. Didn't use the ghost in a jar.
the artifact pot made it so that we could dodge vulnerable or play wraith form without a dex down debuff if we needed to on turn like one two three ish that's what it did <laughs> 